So I want to talk today about beginning photography. And what I want to focus on are the things needed to get moving forward with photography. So this is going to be a short list of what I think is essential to get moving forward. First thing, and obviously the most important thing you need, if you don't have that, uh, you can't do photography. So, um, what I've chosen is a Fujifilm X-T3, um, and I have a couple different lenses. This one here is a 23mm, um, 1.4, and uh, so it's good for uh, getting started. The next thing you need is a, a tripod. Uh, and tripods, I have one right here. <laughs> tripods that are useful. Uh, and if you're walking around, obviously you're not going to be using a tripod. You're just going to be shooting and taking pictures. But I like tripods because they make your camera uh, stable and still. So when you, you take your photo, you don't have to worry if you're holding it in a shaky way. And getting uh, started with photography, that, that's useful. Because then you can focus on learning the uh, different aspects of photography, uh, aperture, um, shutter speed, and uh, ISO. And uh, trying to get better with those and not worrying about um, if the problems you see in, in any of your photos are because of you know, the settings aren't correct or if you're just not holding the camera stable or combination. So the tripod solves that problem and at, le at least <laughs> uh, the stability part of it um, as, as you're learning. So this is a pretty uh, good tripod. It's got different lengths of legs and the head can go up and down, and uh, this is pretty pretty standard. So moving on, another important thing I've learned as a beginner, and I'm still learning a lot, is um, lighting. Uh, different ways to light um, the, the things you, you're uh, photo uh, photographing. So you have a lot of different options. Obviously, uh, natural light is one of the um, most accessible uh, and, and best ways to, to light your, uh, what you're photo photographing. Um, so walking outside, obviously you have natural light. Even uh, inside, if you're near a window, you can get natural light. Um, but, of course, uh, with um, photography, things aren't, aren't always so simple. And sometimes you have too much natural light or not enough, maybe coming from the wrong angle. So that's where um, some um, uh, add-ons come into play, and they include flash. And this is just a small flash for the Fujifilm system. I have here that goes under the camera and can be controlled by the camera. Um, and then also external light here. So this here is a handy little light. It's an aperture light that um, you could put on uh, a stand and it's pretty powerful um, and has different settings. You can increase the intensity, you can make it uh, cooler or, or warmer and uh, it gives you a lot of options. Uh, the next thing that's important is once, you, once you've taken your photos to uh, do editing, uh, you can uh, use uh, different types of software to do this step of the process. So currently I, I uh, go between Capture One and uh, Adobe Lightroom. 
and both have their pros and cons, um, and um, th they've been um, uh, pretty good. Uh, you have, there's a lot of learning involved in using these, these different types of software. Um, but the goal is to um, enhance your photos and to uh, um, correct some, some of the issues that you may have had when, when you took your photos. Um, so th those come in handy. Of course, the last thing, and maybe after the camera, the most important is having something you want, want to take a photo of. Um, and that could be um, obviously anything from people to a landscape to different uh, types of objects. So, the conclusion to this video is that there are uh, several things that you need to get going in photography if you're a beginner. Uh, so, some other points of advice are to um, just uh, try, try different things. Uh, try different photo settings on the camera, different things on the lens, add light, take away light. Um, and adjust the tripod and um, play around with the software. There, there's a lot of moving parts uh, to this. Uh, so um, there, there's a lot of areas that you can work on and, and, and make adjustments. Uh, the other important thing is to uh, find answers. If something's not working, try uh, looking for an answer either watching a youtube video doing a search on the on the internet um, or asking somebody who has more experience um, and that's the way that uh, you'll uh, improve and advance from being a beginner uh, to a more uh, expert photographer